Hello, my name is Constance Tipis. I am the CEO and co-founder of Double D's Lingerie. If you didn't catch that first name, it's because it's quite a mouthful. <laughs> so I like to go by Connie, Connie Tipis. It's easier for most people to be able to pronounce. So I started my business together with my partner in 2016. That's when we launched our flagship store on Riverside Drive. Um, Double D's Lingerie. I think if you're busty, you probably heard of us just because a, it's a very niche group, <laughs> despite majority of us in Kenya being busty. So by busty, I mean ladies who are D to K cap bra sizes, UK sizing, or D to O cap US sizing. So we started our business just because we realized there was a gap in the market. It was very, it's very difficult, not it was, it's very difficult, but now that we're here, it's not difficult anymore, right? But it's very difficult for busty girls to access bras that fit them well. And you might be thinking, it's just a bra. Hmm, what could be hard about that? But can you imagine that eight out of 10 women around the world still wear the wrong bra sizes? And uh, the bra is the only undergarment or garment, piece of garment that is actually designed to support weight. So the bustier you are, the heavier your boobs. And if that's not supported properly, then you find that you're constantly having shoulder aches, constantly having back aches, and it's really uncomfortable. And by the end of the day, you just wanna take off your bra when you get home. If that's you, you're probably wearing the wrong size. So do pay us a visit. We chose the location of our store at Riverside Drive just because we knew that it's gonna be an intimate process shopping for bras and especially if you're busty it makes it even more harder for you just because you've probably grown up feeling a bit shy and weird about your bust so we wanted to get a location that's intimate and private that you would not feel weird and you know many people would not be walking in and out because if you're coming to the store you're coming for a specific purpose that's why we did choose to be in a mall and so far so good <laughs> the ladies are loving the that option um, we market our products online uh, across social media platforms. We use social inf media influencers. Um, we also use traditional methods of marketing like um, advertising in magazines like True Love or advertising in the papers as well. Other brands that we admire, of course there are brands that we admire. Um, just to mention a few, there's Third Love because it's an all-inclusive brand. They don't discriminate women of different body sizes they're good to go with that and we also admire savage by fenty um, that's rihanna's brand just because she's really upped our social media game just because when you look at her page you're just like what that's what marketing needs to be like so we borrow a leaf or two from those two brands and there are very many other brands that we do admire and especially anybody promoting body positivity because we just want every woman to feel amazing in their skin amazing with the bodies that they have and that they don't have to change anything about who they are just because they're perfect the way they are. Um, any lessons we've learned um, along our journey in this business is that I think at, to the, at the top of my mind, what comes to the top of my mind is you just have to keep adapting. You either adapt or you die. It's as simple as that. And that's a lesson I think that works for all businesses. You just have to keep adapting. And especially now, for example, we're going through the whole global pandemic, health pandemic, where we're having corona affecting all businesses and especially small to medium enterprises. We are really struggling with, you know, just how do you put, how do you pay for rent the next day? How do you um, pay for your staff salaries? And we realize that if we don't keep changing a couple of things, so like now we don't have, we're not operating through our physical store. What do we do through our online stores that still delivers the same level of customer satisfaction, but on an online platform? So I think that's the one thing that I leave every business with is just adapt or die. It's as simple as that. So thank you for having me and uh, taking the time to listen to what I have to say. Bye-bye. <laughs>